Hey, how's it going guys? It's Nimrov and you might be wondering or asking yourself, how can I make a YouTube video, particularly a tech video? You can make these videos with just your phone. So today guys, I'm going to give you the things you might need or the steps on how you can make tech videos on YouTube. First of all is lighting. Now when it comes to lighting, it's quite hard to manage actually. Because for my case over here, I have very uncontrollable lighting. What that means is that I use the sun. And usually it shifts and it changes color from time to time depending on how it strikes the windows. If you have a spare phone on your hands, then you can use that to give out extra lighting. That is what is happening right now. There is a phone right here with the flashlight on. It's just I'm uh, giving color to my face up here on my right because there's literally no light coming from this area. Now we're going to be talking about the table you're going to be placing your phone onto or the thing you want to review. Usually for the table, you have to make sure that it's dust free because if it isn't, then it's going to look bad. It's going to get scuffed. So what I do personally back then was I would just get a damp cloth and I'll just wipe the table clean. But since then, I got a new item which is a duster now. It's like 88 pesos. I would just uh, dust off my table, my computer and everything before I start recording on that desk because it gets dusty in here because I'm beside the freaking window. Now we're going to be talking about the stands you might need for their videos. Now usually when they're doing this uh, B-roll shots, they have their phones on a stand. Now what you have to do for that is if you have no budget but you have a wall that you can prop your phone onto, then you can do that. Back then I would actually just do that. I would prop off my iPhone on that computer monitor but since then I got something new and that is a phone stand which is around 100 pesos which is two dollars I think so that's what I got and it's paying off actually now a question might pop up in your mind and that is how can I record a video without a tripod well if we're just going to be doing b-roll shots you can go for something called your hands yeah it's very cheap you just hold your phone up until your chest because that will provide the most stabilized video that you can come up with. Bonus points if your phone has optical image stabilization. Though I would recommend optical st image stabilization instead of having the digital stabilization, I think. That's when the, they try to crop the video more. So it doesn't look shaky that much. Now we're going for the topic. Now when it comes to the topic, it might be hard to come up with that because it's a concept that you have to think of. But personally, these topics would just pop up in your mind when you're not doing anything productive. Usually, I, I, I get ideas when I'm taking a dump or I'm taking a shower. That's how I get my ideas. But if you're running out of ideas or you just have no idea at all on how you can do anything, you can go on YouTube or Google and then try to find a few tech videos. You can also review tech that is actually older than the tech you're having right now. Let's say you have a 5S. You can review that. That's what I'm currently doing right now. Now, for the camera, usually you don't need a camera, you just have your phone. For me, I have my 6S Plus, this is what I use to record most of my videos with. What I just do here is I make sure that it records in 1080p, never 720. Just make sure it's always 1080p. You can go for 30 frames or 60 frames, but for the B-roll shots, I often do it at 60 because it just looks much more smoother. So there are two ways that you can do this, all right? You can do a B-roll video, which is just filled with B-rolls, and then you're just going to do a voiceover over it. That's what I usually do because I don't look good on camera. Now, the second thing you can do is a A-roll video, which is just you talking and reviewing a piece of tech on your hand but then at the same time you're going to have a few cuts here and there that are sh uh, showing the product and personally I just do voiceovers because I don't look good on camera audio now it comes to the audio if you have a very very controlled environment then that would be great because that means you don't have that much noise on your videos but for my case eh, it isn't possible because I live in a very risky area in our town so what you can do is get the earphones that are provided with your phone and you can use that as a microphone but then what you can do is use the xbox mics that people are memeing or the things for call of duty or the ones that call center agents use because personally i use a jabra headphone because that thing does most of the work actually what i do with it is i put a sock over the microphone so it's it acts like a pop filter because whenever i'm talking my voice is quite breathy 
Now when I'm editing my videos, I usually edit on an iPhone and the things that I use for editing these videos, I use iMovie and VLLO. Editing with these two is actually great because if you use iMovie, things will definitely render faster because it's made for the iPhones. It has video overlays in it so I can easily do things and just overlay them on top of the video that is actually playing. That is what's happening right now. With VLL, although I can't do that, but I use it because of the fonts and the text that you can use. Now, thumbnails is the thing that's going to pop. It has to be the one that's going to pop. Pique your audience interest. Now, when we're talking about this, I'm not good at making thumbnails. So what I usually do, I use Snapseed. It's a great app personally. When I use Snapseed, I just get a very I just get a screenshot of the thumbnail that I want to make and then I'll just put portrait lower the brightness uh, lower the contrast add a bit of saturation add a bit of text and that's it that's almost how I do all my thumbnails but when I'm on the computer what I do personally is I use Canva because that does a lot of work for you oh yeah those are the things you're going to keep in mind on how to make tech videos with your iPhone because this is going to help you and it's going to be beneficial in a way now just with enough commitment enough time enough patience you can grow your channel without a doubt okay you can be the next Marcus Brownlee you can be the next unbox therapy just make sure you have you're putting enough time you're putting a lot of effort onto your videos and not just being lazy all the time because that will definitely ruin the quality of your video if you're just lazy all the time so that it is guys thank you for watching my video and i hope to see you guys in the next video peace out bye bye